Of course, it's always fun to ride around in a concept vehicle. And there's a lot of tech in this car. There's VR, there's eye tracking, it's level four. How much of that shows up in an actual Audi in the future? Well, we're not sure yet, but hopefully we'll see more of this tech in Audis in years to come. One of the issues with autonomous vehicles is that when we drive, we don't realize that we're making eye contact with pedestrians, with motorcyclists, with bicyclists. With this vehicle, actually, it'll tell you its intentions, not just with the lights that are here, which we saw on the icon, but also lights that are on the shoulders, both in the front and the back. So it'll share its intentions with the rest of the people you're sharing the road with. In the interior, Audi decided to go for a more lounge look, more of a, a homey feel as opposed to a vehicle feel. And when you get in it, it just feels like you're sitting in a nice living room. While you're in the car, the steering wheel will retract and it gives you a little desk, which is nice for, you know, doing some work. But you can also put on these VR headsets. And while I was in the car riding around, it was actually pretty interesting. Uh, last year, Audi showed off this game where you were flying around, you were shooting things. This year, I got to fly in a helicopter over these beautiful Chinese landscapes. And it was actually very relaxing. They played some music. It was all, well, nice. In the hustle and bustle of CES, it's kind of nice to sit in a car, put a computer on your face, and look at the world. What's interesting is that the infotainment system actually uses eye tracking. While I was in the vehicle, I was able to select a meal, which I selected a snack, which was a donut, just with my eyes. You just sort of stare at one of the three choices you have, and then, well, you get yourself a donut when you finish with the drive. What I do like are these doors because it sort of opens up so everyone can get in and out. You've seen them on a lot of trucks. Uh, it's nice here in reality, especially if you're going into an urban environment, they're probably gonna be opening too wide, but you know, it's a concept car. Let's have some fun. Because this car is built for a dense urban environment, it is small. It's essentially a hot hatch, except instead of all that, you know, hotness being powerful engine and fast suspension, the hotness is the technology and the ability to sort of escape while you're in the worst driving environment.